Bro, you got to do your homework. The word church is a mistranslation of the word ecclesia or ecclesia, which means called out ones. It means those who are called out, the called out ones. It don't mean a physical building, bro. The word, the Greek word is ecclesia or ecclesia. When Jesus says, on this rock, I will build my church. I asked you to show me, show me what Jesus built one physical church. Show me what Jesus built the church and called it a building. What did Jesus build an edifice? Where did he do that? Because he wasn't talking about that. He was talking about building people. He wasn't talking about building church buildings. Those are pagan temples. The church didn't come to after Jesus. Paul established these churches. But let me show you what and where the church is or what the church was even in the Bible. After Jesus. <clears throat> First Corinthians chapter 16, verse 19 says, the churches of Asia salute you, Aquila and Priscilla salute you much in the Lord. With the church that is in their house. It's talking about the people, bro. It's not talking about a church building. Because here, if you're going to say that the church is, is an actual building, then you would have to say the church is the house that they was meeting in. They was meeting in somebody's house. You go into a religious edifice. But if even if you're going to say that the church is a physical building, then it's got to be somebody's house. Let me give you another verse. Romans chapter 16, verses 3 and 4. It says, Greet Priscilla and Aquila, my helpers in Christ Jesus, who have for my life laid down their own necks, unto whom not only I give thanks, but also all the churches of the Gentiles. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. So the church was in somebody's house. That was the people. But like I said, even if you're going to say that the church is a building, then it would be somebody's house. It wouldn't be a religious a religious edifice that you're going to today, calling it the house of God. I just told you in Acts chapter 7, verse 48, the Bible says that God does not dwell in temples made with hands. So what you going to do with that? He don't dwell in, in temples made with hands. So, so the church can't be the house of God. Jesus says that he will destroy this temple. He will destroy his body and raise it up again. So that was the temple that he was referring to. He wasn't talking about no church building. But he said the actual temple had to be destroyed. But guess what? Jesus' body in the actual temple if you're going to say that the church is an actual physical building or place, he said, Jesus said that that also had to be destroyed because it was in 70 AD, according to what they say, according to history, so-called history, right? So you ask me, what did Jesus teach at? He taught in the synagogues. He wasn't teaching in no churches. He taught in the streets. He taught everywhere he went. And Jesus never ordained pastors. Show me what Jesus ordained one pastor, bro. Show me what Jesus ordained churches, where he established churches, and where he ordained pastors. Show me that. Jesus never called himself a pastor. He never ordained pastors. He never told any of his followers to be a pastor. Matter of fact, he says you shouldn't even be called rabbi or teacher. He, Jesus was against that. He said you shouldn't even be called teacher or instructor for you have one that's, that is your father or one is your master, and that's Christ. So everywhere he go, he taught, bro, because the church was the people that he was teaching to. It, the church was everywhere he went. 
the people that, 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 that he was teaching. That would be the church, the ecclesia, those who were being called out. Not a physical, not a religious edifice, bro. Do your homework. 